that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Eat of Essentials here. So in my friend's place, we're going to be changing up this dark wooden floors into something much brighter. This is what we got from Home Depot. And it's a peel and stick floor tile. And you do not need grout or anything. You just stick it to the floor and follow a particular pattern. And that's it. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This is super easy. Now the only thing you should remember is that each and every one of the tiles that you're going to be putting down on the floor should be tightly close to one another and making sure that you don't have any gap at all. It is always better to start in the middle and then you leave the sides and edges for last. I'm still working on the walls. So this is what the tiles look like. Now it's beautiful, but I want to put something in the middle. This is an adhesive floor tape that I'm going to be using to make a pattern on the floor. I've never used this before, but at the back, it is safe enough to be used on the floor. But I'm going to tell my friend to let me know the durability that this is going to give her as time goes by. Now I'm going to be starting the pattern with a black tape. Now this is super easy to install. But you just have to make sure that you press it down firmly to the floor and removing every air bubbles.
I'm going to be adding silver to the pattern. And the link for both the black and silver tape is going to be down in the description box below. Here's what it looks like. And then I kept adding to make sure I finished the pattern. And on the inside, I added more silver patterns to it. There's still work going on. And with the amount of traffic on the tape, it still stood just fine. I ordered a floor sticker that's going to be in the middle, but it's not here yet. So I'm going to make my own pattern and place in the middle. For now anyway, until the other one that I have ordered comes through. And I am using a regular contact paper. I'm doing this because it's just going to be in the middle for now. And then I'll wait till the one that I've ordered comes through and then I'll change it. This is such a huge difference with what it used to look like before and what it looks like now. I still have a couple of DIYs in this space to share with you guys, so stay tuned. Because of what the space is going to be used for, I want the space to feel airy, open and bright. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now let me know what you think about the tiles and the design. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.